Hello students welcome to another lecture of human anatomy and physiology and today we will be starting with the new topic that is cell structure and function so let's start cells are basically the body's smallest functional units and they are grouped together to form tissues right cells are the structural and functional units of all living organisms and the first biologist who discovered cell was robert hooke now we already know that a human body develops from a single cell which is termed as the zygote which results from the fusion of ovum that is the female egg cell and the spermatozoons that is the male sex cells right after the fusion and the formation of zygote cell division follows and as a result of which fetus grows and uh, different parts of the human body develops now this is basically a structure of the cell these are the different uh, components of a cell right so a cell basically consists of a plasma membrane enclosing a number of organelles which are suspended in a watery fluid which is termed as the cytosol right so in the coming slides we will be discussing about each of these components in details now coming to the basic function of a cell so cell basically provides support and structure it facilitates in growth it allows transport of substances it produces energy and it helps in the process of reproduction we will now understand the functions of different parts of the cells in details the first part is your cell membrane so talking about cell membrane cell membrane basically supports and protects the cell and it controls the movement of substances in and out of the cell it also separates the cell from the external environment right and the cell membrane is present in all cells including plant cell as well as animal cell right cell membrane is basically the outermost covering of the cell within which all other organelles such as the cytoplasm and the nucleus are enclosed right and cell membrane is also referred to as plasma membrane right so by structure it is basically a porous membrane porous membrane is a membrane which has pores right which permits the movement of selective substances in and out of the cell it also protects the cellular components the organelles which are present in the cell from damage because it basically covers those substances it covers those organelles so cell membrane is basically a wall like structure between two cells and between the uh, organelles cell organelles and the outer environment it is basically a protective covering you can say now the second is your cell wall so the cell wall is the most prominent part of the plant cell structure it is made up of cellulose and hemicellulose as well as pectin cell wall is exclusively present in plant cell it is not present in animal cell its main function is to protect the plasma membrane and other cellular components right mm -hmm. the cell wall is also the outermost layer of the plant cell in animal cell the outermost layer is your plasma membrane or the cell membrane and in animal cell your outermost membrane is your plasma membrane or cell membrane and in plant cell the outermost covering is your cell wall it provides shape and support to the cell and protects them from mechanical shock and injuries it is basically a rigid and stiff structure which surrounds the cell membrane and it is only present in plant cell next is your cytoplasm cytoplasm is basically a fluid like structure jelly fluid like structure wherein all the organelles are suspended and in the cytoplasm most of the chemical reactions they take place and the cell organelles which are suspended in the cytoplasm include your vacuoles mitochondria ribosomes rough endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum right now comes your nucleus so nucleus is a very important part of the cell as it you know contains the dna right and dna is the hereditary material of any cell it sends signals to the cell to grow to mature to divide and to die it basically is the brain of your cell 
right and the nucleus is surrounded by the nuclear envelope that separates the dna from the rest of the cell the nucleus also protects the dna and is an integral component of the plant cell structure so this nucleus is present in plants as well as in animal and the main function is that they are com they contain dna which helps in sending signals for growth for maturation for division now these are uh, some uh, organelles and their functions so the first organelles is your nucleolus so nucleolus is the site of ribosome synthesis where the ribosome is synthesized and it is also involved in controlling the cellular activities and cellular reproduction when the cell will divide how the cell will divide all these are controlled by nucleolus right then is your nuclear membrane so nuclear membrane is the outermost covering of your nucleus it basically protects the nucleus from any damage and it also helps in confining the dna inside the nucleus only then comes your chromosome so chromosome it plays a very important and a crucial role in determining the sex of an individual and in human cells there are 23 pair of chromosomes endoplasmic reticulum is an extensive series of interconnecting canals in the cytoplasm they are basically of two types one being your smooth and the other being your rough endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum they help in the synthesis of lipids and steroidal hormones and is also associated with the detoxification of some drugs they help in the removal of some drugs from the body right and rough endoplasmic reticulum they are studded with ribosomes and they are basically the site of synthesis of proteins some of which are exported from the cell okay so golgi bodies are called as the cells post office and they are basically involved in the transportation of material within the cells now we know that proteins are synthesized in endoplasmic reticulum as we started in the previous slide so these proteins from the endoplasmic reticulum they come to the golgi bodies for packing right so golgi bodies they help in packing of the proteins into a membrane bound vesicles and then these vesicles they are stored and when needed they move to the plasma membrane and fuse with them these contents then can be expelled from the cell to other cells which require proteins now coming to the ribosomes ribosomes they are granules which are composed of rna and protein they basically synthesize proteins from amino acids using rna as a template now coming to the mitochondria as you must have studied this in your previous classes also that the mitochondria is termed as the power house of the cell so it is so called because it produces atp that is the energy currency present in the cell right then comes the lysosomes so lysosomes are mainly termed as your suicidal bag so lysosomes they protect the cells from engulfing the foreign bodies entering the cells and help in the cell renewal process lysosomes basically protect the cell by engulfing any foreign bodies entering the cell and they also help in the cell renewal coming to the chloroplast so chloroplast they are the primary organelles for photosynthesis it basically consists of a pigment that is chlorophyll then comes your vacuole so so vacuoles are basically organelles which store food water and other waste materials inside the cell and when required they transport those material out or within the cells Okay so thank you so much uh, for attending this lecture dear students today we started about the cell structure and functions of different organelles so if you have any queries any doubt in today's lecture please feel free to reach out to thank you for attending the lecture thank you